YouTube. What up, man? It's your boy Street Tate. I'm back. Another comparison style video for you guys, man. If you're new to the channel, go in my channel. Look at all my past comparison videos that I've done so far. Collection style videos as well. I make the videos for you. The whole point of my comparison videos is to help you out. Help you decide if you'd rather cop the last time a shoe came out or cop the current release that is on shelves right now. So most of the time, my comparison vids might have a shoe that's sold out, but lately, all my comparison vids so far have been shoes that are still sitting on shelves and online. So if they are still sitting on shelves or online, I will link them in the description, man. So y'all can go ahead and cop the current release if you much rather have that over the last time it came out. But the only good thing about having shoes that sit is that the last time it came out, price for those also go down. So it makes the last time the shoe drop much more affordable. So that's always good news for my viewers as well, man. So this video is the only video on YouTube like it, comparing the 2010 Copper Foam versus the 2017 release, man. So I like being the only video on YouTube that is like this. I think that's really, really dope. Um, I think most of my videos are timeless for people later on that want to look up certain gear that shoes drop. I think most of my videos can be considered timeless, man. So hopefully my videos have helped you out in some form of fashion. I upload maybe once or twice a week because I want to stay fresh on y'all's timeline. I want to upload something and y'all say, oh shit, Tate uploaded. Let me see what he got. You know what I'm saying? Instead of being oversaturated with a bunch of videos, I like to keep it fresh when I upload, man. So I appreciate y'all watching and subscribe if you're new, man. So this video is your 2010 copper foam posit versus your 2017 release. Now as far as solid copper foam posit one colorways, if I have these two out that I had to bring out, the eggplant foam posit and your Orlando or Royal foam posit one. As far as solid colorways, these three are the most popular foam posit one solid colorways, man. Like these are iconic and they're all sitting on shelves. So I will link them all in the description below, man. So if you're thinking about copper, you can probably find them for way under retail. Or if you have a coupon or a hookup, you can find these joints for way under retail price, man. So hopefully my video helped you guys out in some form or fashion. I did do a comparison video on the 2011 Royal versus 2017 release. I'll link that right here. I did compare the last time this shoe dropped as well, man. I'm thinking about doing the eggplant as well. We'll see how this video does for the coppers and I'll probably knock out the eggplant phone posit comparison as well, man. So here is your 2010 and 2017 coppers. As far as solid colorways, when the 2010 copper dropped, these joints sold out and they were a very sought after phone posit colorway in that seven year gap of these two coming out. These two shoes have only come out twice so your copper only came out twice and I have both versions right here man very very dope and iconic colorways now before 2012 is when your phone posit started your pattern design upper your very first pattern design upper phone posit was your galaxy phone posit this phone was the very first phone posit to have your pattern design up on the upper and after that was the paranormans and then after that it's been numerous phone posits that have come out with a pattern design upper like your thermals and weathermen's fighter jets just to name a few man so when it comes to your solid phone posit colorway this is in the top three most popular uh, as far as phone posit one solid colorways man let's go ahead and talk about these joints and get y'all up out of here man i appreciate y'all watching so the 2010 copper phone posit came in your brown Nike sportswear box. The retail price was $200 and your brown sportswear box had a few year reign where a lot of phone posits came out in that brown box. Even your Galaxy phone also came out in your Nike sportswear box. Your 2017 release came out in your black shiny Nike box. Retail was $230. Very very nice box. I do like the black box version. Now when you go up the toe box of both shoes your 2010 version, the stripe on up the tongue, is more of a brown than it is copper. Your 2017 is more of a copper color. The shoe strings, the suede or new buck going up the lace eyelets, your tongue mesh, all that is the exact same materials. There's not one better than the other. It's exactly the same on both years. As far as the one cent jewel on the front of the tongue, again, it's more of a brown on your 2010 version and more of a copper on your 2017 version. As far as the pull tab at the top of the tongues, 
it is longer on your 2017 version and a little bit shorter on your 2010 version which also is more of a brown striping than it is copper on your 2017 release now when you go to the outsides of both shoes y'all can see that the copper is darker and deeper on your 2017 version it's a more of a lighter copper on your 2010 version and you see that the sole is a uh, that that blue tint on your 2017 and it is a clear sole that is now yellowing on your 2010 version as y'all can see very well right there as far as the carbon fiber cutout is the exact same size as far as the foam posit lines and designs on the side exactly the same you go to the inner side of both shoes the foam posit cutout is also the same size but if you look at the height of the ice on the carbon fiber it is a little bit higher ice cut on your 2010 version a little lower ice cut on the 17 version when it comes to the carbon fiber cutout of how high the ice is placed there y'all can see it's a little bit taller on your 2010 release besides that everything else design size of the lines of the foam everything is exactly the same y'all can see really well right there now when you go to the back of both shoes see the one cent jewel and the color of the striping on the back of the pull tab y'all can see it's more of a brown on your 2010 release and more of a copper color on your 2017 release and the pull tab is also a little bit taller on your 2017 release y'all can see right there go to the interior of the shoe they both have your Nike swoosh and the word air the ankle padding the ankle cushion the tongue padding is all exactly the same on both foams the comfort level is exactly the same on both foam posits man so there isn't one that outdoes the other they both have your black insole so very very similar when it comes to the interior of the shoe now the bottoms of course the bottom the biggest difference is the ice color it was clear on 2010 it is that blue tint on 2017 they both have zoom air at the very top of the uh, toes there on the ice and as far as your traction, your carbon fiber cutouts, all that is exactly the same shape and size. And again, the one cent logo is more of a brown on your 2010 version, and it is more of a copper on your 2017 release, man. So that is your comparison of your 2010 copper foam posit one and your 2017. Y'all can see they're very, very similar overall. One's a little bit darker when it comes to the copper than the other. But besides that, man, they're very, very dope shoe. Let me know if y'all have either of these. If y'all want either of these, if you're waiting for them to go on sale, go to the outlets, get the coupon. Let me know y'all's thoughts on foams in general, not just these, your egg plants, your, your royals. Just give me thoughts on everything foam posit down below, man. I appreciate y'all watching man. I love making videos like this because it helps you guys out. And that's the whole point of my videos is to help you out man. That's the whole point man. So I appreciate y'all watching. I got a lot more comparison videos coming. Um, I'll probably do the eggplant. Um, I'm going to do the new love Jordan 1's. So I got a bunch of other comparison videos and collection style videos up for you guys man. So I appreciate y'all watching. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on the gram and snap. And I'll see y'all next video, YouTube. You can't just say you real. It's something you gotta be. All right, now? <laughs> Easy. So, I have your 2009 Raging Bulls versus your 2017 Flight Suits. So, I have your Jordan 1 Leather Version, Royal and Breads, versus your Flyknit Version, Royal and Breads.